Mm-hmm. Coke, our new advertiser. No. So yeah. today we're making the Fuzzy Hippo. It's just a funny name. Yeah. I like it. Fuzzy Fuzzy Hippo. That's the way things should be. People should be like, let's make a funny name. Do you think if uh, there were Fuzzy Hippos, like they would be they in would petting be zoos and you like, you know, want to go to the and pet the Fuzzy Hippo? Well, hippos should have what? fuzziness on them, but it probably yeah, isn't all. It's like it's in weird places. Right. It's like not dingleberries. All... Right. Yeah. As opposed hippo, to nice hippo poop in their yeah. butt hair. Yeah, we get it. We we were following. Yeah, they can go. Google the rest, huh? Hmm? Yeah, they smooth. They don't have any little hairs on them. Fuzzy. If they had a fuzzy hippo, I would definitely. They're mammals. Pet. They have to have hair. Somewhere. Right, but they don't have to have a lot like of right hair. Here. They could have like one hair and be a mammal. And we're like, mm-hmm. Yeah, like I have like mm-hmm. like like a like a, like a good seal or something. No, oh yeah, seal. I was yeah. thinking of the characters from um, Doctor Seuss. <laughs> they don't oh. have weird oh, yeah. hair. So wait, what's it's? Yeah, those, those things. Exactly. Fuzzy Hippo! This recipe was submitted by I Love Cheese. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two ounces of absolute vodka, one ounce of peach stops, one ounce of hypnotic, four ounces of pineapple juice. This is like a really fricked up sex on the beach. Was I Love Cheese 29 really taken? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, spice of citrus soda. We're gonna shake and strain this. That's what we're gonna do. I don't have a, um, do you have my, the thing that strains things? A strainer? Mm, no. You hit it, you hit it on me. You, you little bastard. There. You put it over there. You little bastard! Put in some vodka! I'm gonna get some of this stuff. What is this we got going on? Peach chops. I don't need any of that. Put it in That's your vodka. Mm. vodka. What's up? I'm calm. Calmer than you are. Whoa. All right. Oh. Open it up. One ounce of hip. Oh, hypnotic hippo. Fuzzy. Fuzzy navel. Is this a fuzzy navel? There you go. Is it really? Yeah. I'm with I'm, the pea schnapps and the vodka. Yeah, that's yeah. where I'm like heading fuzzy towards. Navel has Does that juice. pineapple juice though? Yeah, but hippos oh, yes. like pineapples, not orange. Oranges. Yeah, really? Mm-hmm. Scientifically. Scientifically. Really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two, four, four. We, we're good, and then a splash of citrus soda I'll throw in at the end. Sling! I think we've done something like this before. Dude, we have 1,148 or something amount cocktail. I am sure at some point we've done some derivative of this, and that's just how things are gonna be. Wow, they never break. Although, uh, my, my, we did have one break that I've already returned it. Yeah, it goes in a hurricane glass. Can you buy those? You can buy these, yes, at Austin Drinks. But and you can buy the glass straws. And we had one one person broke. Actually, it was a buddy of mine. So he had bought some sports uh, store, and it it was in the in the dishwasher, but it slid through like halfway through the dishwasher like that, mm-hmm. and then he opened the dishwasher mm-hmm. and it went bring mm-hmm. and cut it in half. Mm-hmm. They just sent me another one. Huh. No questions asked. Wow. Pretty cool. It was the first time I got to test it because they say. Lifetime guarantee, though, you know, they'll, if they break, they'll, unless you break it on purpose to see if they'll break. Because mm-hmm. you actually can be successful breaking something when you try. So we've had the crack pipe conversation, right? Does we've had make, a lot of conversations, and we probably had a lot of conversations break, about crack, pipe. crack pipes. Well, not the crack pipe, but like if you, you know, put the crack on the aluminum foil and you. I guess they can use it for yeah, that. For the meth. Yeah. Actually, this is for the meth pipe. Meth pipe. Right. So then, the other question I had was, um, or actually, when I had brought this up, one of the one of the guys that one of my distributors was like, "Oh yeah, we don't sell those because he wanted to sell them to bars, and bars were like, well, what would if you if you're at a bar, somebody could just crack this and stab you and kill you." So I was like, "That's a great point. Why would you ever have those at the bars? Because they become weapons." So I asked the guy, I'm like, hey guys, how does that work? If How do you sell the bars? Because they could use them as a weapon. They said, you can also take a glass and kill somebody with it. I'm like, yeah. another good point. I don't, you know, at what point do you consider one elite the weapon and not the other? Yeah, in, in the last time I checked that if you're at a bar, like a bar that serves food, yeah. they'll give you knives. That's true. So you could actually yeah. just kill somebody with a knife. Right. Which is more of a traditional mechanism. Yeah. And when you're thinking about killing somebody and you have a knife in your hand, you're probably like, I can either break that straw and stab mm-hmm. you in the neck, or I can just do this. 
Either way, you're a CSI project. So, whatever. Mm. It looks very tropical. <laughs> smells yep. Fuzzy hippo! I can smell it. Yeah, me too. Me too, I like pineapple. Mm -hmm. really? What did we do an alcohol rating on the last one? A hundred. <laughs> I don't remember. What did we do last time? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Seven and a half! Just give it a second. You'll get the seven and a half in a yeah, minute. Yeah, sure. <laughs> really? No. Just, uh, that's yeah, it. well, the vodka comes through. At the finish? Yeah. Like, the, the, mm, it's pretty good to start. You I get mean, a nice you, pineapple. You, you, get the, you get the pineapple. And a peach. The, the peach is right there, right before the vodka. Oh, and it hits you. Exactly and then, and then, what I thought. And then, and then the hypnotic is just kind of everywhere. Yeah, but it's more of the and the hypnotic has kind of like that tropical thing going on, so it's kind of it kind of just fits the tropical motif. I think it's hidden well with the pineapple. Yeah. Like I don't get any cat pee. Yeah. You don't get happy, right? Thank God, no. no. Um, actually, I I'm sorry. I'm still upset that you said cat pee. You said cat pee. I didn't say anything. The last well, time, right? Now. Like yeah, and the cat pee, and I was that just like, ah, oh, mother. That's why I waited to get your idea of what it was before you said cat pee, because it's in your head now, so you're gonna get that. Yeah, it really smells. Of it's like but that doesn't. Yeah. This has it's it's more of a I want to I want to say a watered down pineapple. Like if you take pineapple by itself, it's got that sweet yep. taste to it. This is more of a watered down version of that. It's a lighter, tamer pineapple. Yep. And then you start to get that round peach like flavor, and then boom, smacks you right in the face grill with your with your vodka. <laughs> boom. And then it's like boom, hits you again, and you're like wow. And then it's tame, and you're back to normal. No. And it, you get, it finishes very hypnotic. This is a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah, because that alcohol in the finish gives you that seven and a half. The hypnotic taste profile is not hidden. Like there is, it gives it a nice color. Yeah! <laughs> Special. Is that the doorbell? That was my phone. No, it's I like it's sell. all the all the things that happen. Yeah, so that means it's something it's, Yeah, it's that was awesome. In the middle of a show. I, that's why I left it on. I was hoping we'd get a sale. <laughs> um, it works. That's awesome. I'm just, I'm just like, what's the chances? Um, but there is a little bit of of, of a hypnotic it play. Glass. Could have been hurricane glasses. We'll have to check. <laughs> I don't care as long as they hear the ding. Glass it's like throw. it's like Pavlov's dogs. I'm telling you right now. I could be sitting down watching TV and you hear ching ching, and I'm like yeah. Every time it's like football game. Every time there's a score. <laughs> it's awesome. That's the best part of having the stores. Every time there's a sale, me, both Jennifer does it too. Because her phone makes a different noise. She's like, because oh, it could be either a contact or a sale. And then you hear, ching, ching. Like, ah! It's awesome. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Dude. There's nothing I want to follow better. you around with like a video camera. Just, <laughs> just for like a day. Just like so like. <laughs> video confirmation that it actually happens. Like, like it happens and like ching and like and then you could just like edit it down to all the sales over the day and you like you be like, ah, like yeah. in the middle of like chopping an onion. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I even yell up to Jennifer. She'll be like if she's in the shower or something and I hear ching ching and she's not here to celebrate. <laughs> We got a sale! <laughs> then I have to run Butts back. in the shower and <laughs> run back again. It's great, it's bitters! For her. Hey. <laughs> Just jump in the shower, stand there, like, like, what are hey, you doing? Can, yeah! can I wash? We got a sale. Do you even want me to wash your back yeah. for you? It's a, it's, it's a free one. It's, it's on me. I'm getting hot from all this, this cel excessive celebrations. Uh, again, hypnotic comes through a little bit. Not too bad. From not the so hypnotic much. Stand, standpoint, no. it's it's a good a good build out for hypnotic because it's not no, too definitely, much. Definitely uh, pineapple. Pineapple and hypnotic go to get together. Pineapple, I think that's a little Hulk. bit of peach, incredible vodka Hulk. finish. Yeah, yeah. It might Seven be the Incredible half. Hulk. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong that has those. Maybe we should make that again because we need to remake that video. The problem is that's one of my biggest videos, so it's like I don't I don't know if I want to detract if I if I make two videos yeah. am I gonna pull views from the original one into the new one hmm. then I might have one that's at 20,000 one that's at 70,000 or 120 I think it is mm -hmm. so I don't want I like that number to keep growing I don't know I'll mm -hmm. think about it anyway that's it everydaydrinks.com question of the day ah uh, <sighs> damn it what gets you excited is it football basketball cha-ching sounds 
Best part, that same cha-ching sound I used to have in World of Warcraft. So every time naked an auction women. sold, dating women, naked men, naked naked women, oh. dude. Even in World of Warcraft, anytime there was an auction sale, it would go cha-ching. Yeah. I've just grown to love that sound. Maybe a nice smile, or maybe somebody who shakes your hand. Yeah. You know what I like? I like when a business calls me and asks me questions about my my my, my work, like what I'm doing with the show and with That's the. With... Gets you excited. It gets me excited because I feel like. Holy crap! This person cares. FedEx, we love you. Because they called. UPS, not so much. The delivery guy's nice, but you guys are kind of douchey when it comes to business. Haters are gonna hate. That's right. When a business calls me. Uh, well, I, I, the business calls me above my business in a business fashion. If somebody calls me and says, "Hi, would you like to vote on the such and such a primary?" No. That would be when I drop the f bomb. I have had to do that sometimes. Well, I've never dropped an F-bomb on somebody on the phone. But I have messed with their mind. Question number two. Have you ever had, what do they call those people? They call Robot you? calls. Robot calls? Uh, no. Or the, well, just the, in general. It's, uh, the, it's not spam. I want to say spam. Bag. Any of those things. Like people calling you for any 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 solicitation. Oh. If they're solicitating you on the phone, do you want to get to switch to DirecTV today? Right? Any of those people? Do you screw with them? Do you just... I, I can't have direct TV. Why? I have no arms. I've done this, right? It's like, what do you mean? I have no arms. Well, why does that have anything to do with it? I don't have any arms. And they don't know. It falls off the script. They don't know where to go. It's awesome. So mean. Yeah. It's great. I don't have a TV. I don't have a telephone. That was the best one. What do you mean? I don't have a telephone. <laughs> have you ever done that to somebody? No. Come on. It's awesome. No. You know that. I've had people laugh. <laughs> I've had guys be like, you know what? That's a good one. Where are you? Uh, in New England. How are the Patriots doing? Like, completely, they're just like, fuck it. Screw the script. Let's just talk. <laughs> it's awesome. You keep pro Get somebody to break down and become human for you. It's hilarious. Until then, you go to everydaydrinkers.com because we're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> <laughs>